Hey guys, this is part 5 of the platformer series, and in this video I'm going to be doing the sprites for the player. Um, in graphics, my graphics directory here, I have a new folder called player, and in here I have a bunch of Kirby sprites. I didn't make my own because um, I think making sprites is incredibly hard, um, especially making it look good. So here's just a bunch of Kirby sprites walking and jumping, falling, and idle. Um, so yeah, I only have four actions. Falling, idle, jumping, and walking. If you want to add more sprites with different actions, obviously you're going to have to do a little bit more code. I got these sprites off of the Shy Guy Kingdom. Um, there's the website. And this has no author, so unknown. I don't have anyone to credit for these sprites. Anyway, this site is a great resource for sprites. If you want some sprites, be sure to check that out. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna need is a new animation class, animation.java. Um, let's open that up. And this is very simple. Just import uh, image star public class animation. We're gonna give this thing four thing, four fields. Um, private buffered image array. This is going to be the current uh, action that we're doing: walking, jumping, whatever. All of that is going to be loaded in frames. We need the current frame. We need some timer stuff. Start time, and we need some kind of delay between each of the frames. This is just a token um, constructor. We're not doing anything in there. All of our stuff will be in these two functions: set frames, buffered image array images, which we will set the frames here. Frames is equal to images, and we also have to do a check to make sure we're not going out of bounds when we're switching in between different actions. Um, so if the current frame is greater than the length or equal to then current frame is zero just reset it and the other one we're going to use is set delay um, so this one the delay is just going to be D now we need the update function public void update this is going to check whether or not we need to actually go into the next frame I have this thing where if delay is negative one, we're not doing any animation at all, so just return. So first we need to find out how much time has gone by since the last frame. So start time, this is going to be in milliseconds, so divided by a million. If elapsed is greater than delay, then we need to go to the next frame and reset the start time. And again, one more check to make sure we're not going out of bounds. Um, if we're at frames.length, then we have to reset back to zero. So when you're making your sprites, you have to make sure that it goes from left to right and then goes back to left in a loop. It has to be seamless. We need one more thing, and this is public buffered image get image. This just returns the current image that we're on. Frames, current frame. So let me just compile real quick to make sure. See, okay, so frames equals image. This is supposed to be frames equals images. Okay, so now we have to actually implement this animation class. Go back here to player.java, and we are going to be creating a bunch of new fields in here, and um, these are manually set. So if you want different actions, you have to add them here. First we need an animation object, and then we need a bunch of buffered image arrays. One for every action. Uh, we have one for idle, for walking, for jumping, and um, for falling, falling sprites. We also need a boolean for facing left um, because if you notice, uh, all of my sprite, all of the sprites, 
are facing left, so we have to flip them if we're going towards the right. So go down here to the player constructor, and here we are going to load all of the um, sprites. So catch exception e e dot print stack trace. Okay, so in here we are going to be reading all of the sprites. So first off, let's create the arrays. I only have one image for sprite uh, idle and uh, jumping and walking, I mean falling, but I have six walking sprites, so that's six there. So now let's actually read this stuff in. Idle sprites is just going to be, oh, first go back up here and import image star, and now we're doing some image IO, so Java X image IO, image IO. And also, we need file, Java IO file. So go back down here, and we are going to start reading some sprites in. So sprites zero is um, image IO dot read, new file, and I put it in graphics player Kirby idle dot gif. And I'm gonna do the same thing with jumping and falling sprites. This is called Kirby Jump and Kirby Fall. But now our walking sprite has six images in it, or six sprites in it. So we have to go through a loop to get that. First, we have to read the tile sheet in. Um, image IO dot read, new file. This is in graphics player. Kirby, oops, Kirby Walk dot gif. And we're going to use a loop to get each. Uh, individual sprite. There are six of them, so um, actually just walking sprites. Link I plus plus. Now we have to actually read this stuff again. We're going to use get um, get sub image. So walking sprites i is equal to image that get sub image, and this is going to be i times width plus i and zero width and height i forgot you have to change the width and height up here in the player constructor each sprite is 22 by 22 so just change that there all right now we have to actually create our animation class uh, object and set the facing you can set it to true or false it doesn't really matter i want to start facing right so i'm going to set it to false now in update, all the way at the bottom, um, right after we've finished uh, moving the map, we are going to now do some animation. So in here, um, we have uh, four actions, walking, idle, uh, jumping, and falling. So we have to set those here. If the left or right keys are pressed, then we're going to set the animation to the walking sprites and set the delay to let's say 100 milliseconds otherwise if the left or right keys are not pressed then we're going to set the frames to the idle sprites and that's just one frame so the delay is going to be negative one no animation necessary um, also, if dy is less than zero, we're moving upwards, then we want to set the frames to the jumping sprites, no delay. And if dy is greater than zero, we're falling. So set the frames to falling sprites, and no delay. Now we have to update the animation class with that. And right after that, we have to set the facing left variable. So if we're moving towards the left, then facing left is true. Otherwise, if we're moving towards the right, then facing left is false. Now the last thing we need to do is go here into draw. We're no longer drawing this red box, so get rid of that. Instead, we are going to use... Um, oh, first off, we have to check if we're facing left or not. 
if we're facing left, then we're just going to draw the default image. We're going to use the animation class for that. Animation that get image. This gets the current frame, and we're going to cast this to int tx plus x minus width divided by two. This is the same thing as the box of the red box that we drew. Ty plus y minus height divided by two and null. Otherwise, if we're facing the right, then we have to uh, draw something different. Draw image. Graphics has a bunch of draw image functions. Um, so here again we get the image, um, but this time we're gonna do tx plus x minus width divided by 2 plus width. Because when you flip, it's like flipping over a mirror, sort of, so it's offsetting the x. We have to reset that by adding width to the end. ty plus y minus height divided by 2. And this is where we flip negative width, height, null. And that's pretty much it for player.java. Um, let's see if this works. Compile. Oh, cannot find exception. I spelled that wrong. Exception. Okay. So here, Kirby is moving around. And you can see all four actions walking idle, jumping, and falling. They all work. Um, and you can see the facing left and right is also working. The image is getting flipped. If we're moving left, or we're moving right. And so yeah, um, there's uh, one more thing that I want to do before this video stops. Um, if you notice all this black space up here, um, I want to actually stop the camera from moving up in this direction. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the tile map class and we're going to give this thing four more uh, fields. I'm going to call them min x, um, min y and max x which is just zero and max y which is also zero and over here in our constructor we have to set those the min x <laughs> is um tile map or uh, we have to get the width so game panel dot width minus map width times tile size and the min y is game panel dot height minus map height times tile size. This is the maximum offset that the map can have. So down here when we're setting the x and y we have to change these to make sure we are not going past the x and y min and max. So here if x is less than min x then just set or if x is greater than max x, then just set that. Same thing with the y. If y is less than min y, then set it to that. And if y is greater than max y, set it to that. So let's see if this will work. Um, Java. What am I doing? Star.java. Java game. Okay, so now our camera is stuck, and it will only scroll, but not past the minimum and maximum bounds of the map. Cool. That is awesome. Um, oh, missed that jump. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, I will come up with something, I'm um, not really sure, maybe enemies um, or items to pick up or something. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.